Now we are going to start case study question number 37. So the context is like that. Aditya decided to complete his physics project. He purchased three registers, 4 ohm, 8 ohm and 8 ohm from the shop. Later he purchased a 8 volt battery switch which works as key and two emitters to complete his circuit as shown below. So this is the circuit and based on this circuit some questions have been framed. So the first question is find the effective resistance of two resistors in the combination. Now these two resistors are connected in parallel. Okay. So two uh, resistors ka jo parallel wala jo formula hai wo hai R1 into R2 upon R1 plus R2. So this is the formula for direct formula. Otherwise also you can use 1 upon R is equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. Or if you remember the formula, you can use directly this formula. So I'm going to use this formula. So 8 into 8 upon 8 plus 8. So 64 upon 16. That is equals to uh, 4 ohm. So the correct option is B1. Now the second question, find the current flowing through the circuit. So for circuit, we should know the total resistance. So now this resistance and this equivalent resistance are connected in series. Or is ka 4 ohm mila tha, uh, question mein. So 4 plus 4, 8. So we'll use formula V is equals to IR. V is given 8 and R we will get again 4 plus 4 that is 8. So we'll get I is equals to 1 ampere. So this is the correct option. Now we'll move toward the third question. Find the potential difference across 4, M, 4 ohm resistance. Now, because it is connected in series, then there will be a voltage break. Hoga, right? Current is same. Rahega. So we'll use again uh, Ohm's law. So potential difference V is equal to IR formula. Right? So I will be remain same. That is 1 ampere and the resistance is 4. Okay? So 1 into 4 is 4 volt. So the correct option is C bit. Now we'll move towards the next question. Find the power dissipated in 4 ohm resistor. Now the formula of power is I square R. I hum log ke paas hai 1 ampere or R B hai 4, right? So 1 square into 4. So that is equals to 4 watt. So the correct option is C. Now we'll move toward the last question. Find the difference in emitter readings. A1 or A2, jo do emitters hai, unke beech ka difference. Now, because these two uh, resist, uh, emitters are connected in series, and we know that in series, the current remains same. So therefore, uh, there will be no difference in emitter readings as the emitters are connected in series. The correct answer is the last one that is D1. Okay, so this is the last question of this case study question. And we'll see the next case study question in the next one. So thank you. Thank you very much.